What is DC Rivals Hypercoaster? DC Rivals Hypercoaster is a steel roller coaster located at Warner Brothers Movie World in Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. The ride was promoted as the tallest, fastest, and longest hypercoaster in the Southern Hemisphere, allowing guests to climb over 200 feet, 61 meters high, before experiencing a thrilling, fast-paced layout. DC Rivals began construction in April of 2017, with the final piece of track being put into place only four months later. The ride officially opened to the public on the 22nd of September 2017, at the cost of 30 million Australian dollars, the park's largest single ride investment to date. Upon debut, it became the first truly large-scale muck rides roller coaster in Australia, and the second of its kind worldwide. As the ride's name suggests, DC Rivals Hypercoaster is loosely themed to the DC Universe. A large rendition of the Joker's face, lit up against the bright sky, can be seen towering above the attraction's already huge drop, while various billboards have been scattered throughout the queue line, each showcasing DC Comics artwork. After navigating the queue, guests enter the station building and are given multiple options to board the Batmobile-themed trains. Visitors can ride facing forwards in 10 of the train's 11 individual rows, or for a fee of 15 Australian dollars, they can ride it backwards. Experiencing the entire roller coaster facing the wrong way in the final row of the train. No matter how they experience the ride, each train features six cars, five of which seat riders in two rows of two. As the last car seats only two guests, this leads to a total of 22 riders per train. Once visitors have boarded, they are dispatched out of the station building, undergoing a right-hand turn into the attraction's lift hill. Guests climb the 45-degree incline, ascending to the maximum height of 61.6 meters. At this point, they pass underneath the Joker's head before plummeting down the ride's first drop at the maximum vertical angle of 85 degrees. On top of this, guests complete a snappy 90-degree twist in the process and quickly reach their top speed of 115 kilometers per hour. After traversing the first drop, the trains immediately enter a huge airtime hill, causing riders to experience sustained ejector airtime. They bank left and navigate one of DC Rivals' signature elements, its 39-meter non-inverting loop. Guests twist through the top of the loop, plummet back towards the ground, and traverse a Stengel dive. The trains whip to the right before diving back towards the earth. At this point, riders navigate an inclined loop, followed by several turns, and a twisted airtime hill. Guests enter a long 480 degree helix and enter a snappy right hand, then left hand turn. To mark the end of their ride, visitors traverse a series of ejector airtime hills, leading them into the attraction's final brake run. By the end of the experience, visitors have navigated a total of 1,400 meters of track, all within 62 seconds of ride time. That's measured from the moment they leave the lift hill to when they enter the final brake run. Upon its debut, DC Rivals Hypercoaster gained fantastic reviews. Most enjoyed the long, forceful experience packed with large amounts of airtime. Furthermore, the Ride It Backwards feature has added to the already fantastic experience, improving the attraction's rewridability factor. It's because of these that DC Rivals has quickly become arguably the best roller coaster in Australia. On top of this, the ride has been a success for the park. A peak of 11,500 visitors attended the park in a single day following its opening, a record for Movie World for the month of September. Ultimately, DC Rivals has become a must-do coaster for enthusiasts worldwide. Therefore, would you like to see more similar Mach Hyper coasters be constructed around the globe? What's your opinion? A big shout out goes to everyone supporting me on Patreon, including Owen Daniel and Alex Borghurst.